will never come to pass. So hit the brakes and make no mistake, cause you cannot replace divine intervention that could never be the case. Through 1873, I'm headed to a place our minds have never been. I've been on the road since I was 17. Now I'm headed to a place our eyes have never seen. Now I understand the value of time, never waste any of it, we capitalize. Quite ready to learn now that the past is behind, never underestimate something so divine. Now we are ready to learn, ready to learn, of the power of grace. Without we who don't be where we are today. Now we are ready to learn, ready to learn, of the power of grace. I want you to feel this, look, said when we realized this, we all knew we were headed for greatness, so I guess it only makes sense to share our grace with the old and the infants, so through this power that we granted, spreading the Lord's love through the galaxy and planet, it's kind of obvious that they don't understand it, though we gon' get the demand and our people need more planet. Now, we know the true power of grace, although a few people ain't down or willing to chase. See, they be feeling this grace through the treble and bass. Africa need a new face. Young niggas speak the truth in a rhyme, only if we understand the true value of time. Listen, my people, you never undermine the power of grace when you're out there on your grind. So let me take you someplace you've never been. Seen a type of struggle no man has ever seen. Always up on your television screen, so living that's pristine, been struggled since 16. Now, I'm that man in the mirror. Quick, quick, look twice, begin to see it clearer. Now, my dreams is getting narrow. I'm tired of living in terror, changing me for the better. I want to find out what it is that you have done for the people of I don't know, 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 to them. What I mean about that? Uh, what I mean is that uh, in Angola, uh, unfortunately, you know, and I think this is a problem of uh, most African countries. It's like, oh, if you are not <laughs> that is mama of the membership <laughs> of the current party. Concerning the inviting people to come to Angola, people are complaining concerning the visa. Put your passport in the embassy. Sometimes it takes one month or two months for you to get the visa. Once you are in the government, are you going to work on that? Thank you for the question. And so what we are seeing is that one can submit his visa application and he can stay for two or three months. Once you know, he's abusing the man. He has a lot of activities. We also want to change this kind, this bureaucratic way of treating people who are interested to go in Angola, you know? Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at 1873FM. Hashtag 1873FM. Well, uh, this is the, the Santon Express and Morning Show. Yes, uh, this is Wake Up Call Monday to Friday uh, on your favorite channel of food. That is the 1873 FM. And uh, this is your open, frank, and honest conversation as far as shaping the character and personality of the future that you want. And uh, yes, we've uh, been having very interesting conversations uh, so far on the 1873 in, uh, FM uh, this morning, uh, particularly with you. 
look at the power of the Holy Spirit. And um, I'm glad that uh, right about now, uh, joining me in conversation, I happen to be joined by uh, the chairman of the 1873 Network, and also joined uh, from Kenya, Anton Gite, who happens to be uh, the CEO of it's a um, transforming young stars of Africa. Uh, Anthony, a wonderful morning to you, and uh, thank you so much uh, for joining us uh, this morning on the 1873 FM. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for this wonderful story. Well, it is indeed a pleasure to have you on the other end of the line. And you happen to be no stranger to the 1873 FM. On the 29th, you celebrated your birthday. We also heard you on the platform and yeah. you just uh, sharing your story. And uh, I see that uh, this morning you're not alone, but you've got uh, three other individuals that are joining you. So maybe if uh, they could uh, care uh, to introduce themselves, we could start off with the lady. Uh, if you can just uh, introduce yourself. Uh, for, uh, so that we get to know you and what you do. Okay. Hi, everyone. I'm Janet Mota. I come from an organization called Moving the Goalpost. It's a sport for development organization in coastal region of Kenya that empowers girls and young women through football to help them realize their full potential. Okay, uh, thank you so much, Janet, for joining us uh, this morning on the 1873 FM. And uh, the gentleman uh, to that uh, to uh, the right of Anthony. Um, hi, my name is, is Julian, um, Julian Pohl. Um, I'm from Germany. I work for an organization called Street Football World. Um, Street Football World is the world's largest network of football for development organizations. And uh, all of those guys um, here represent organizations that are part of our global network. And I'm very uh, honored and happy to be in Kenya to support our project on your show. Thank you very much. Okay, and the other gentleman who is uh, standing? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Zakaria Chola. I work for an organization called Angaza Sports and Development Center. It is in the central part of the country of Kenya in a city called Kiandu, called uh, Tika. So we are here to join, join, uh, to join hands, our minds, to bring the youth together for the week. Okay, uh, that's lovely uh, to uh, now know uh, the people whom we are actually having a conversation with on the 1873 uh, this morning. Yes, uh, so Mr. Moere. Yeah, uh, good morning, uh, uh, the Kenyan African, the Kenyan based Africans. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? We are yeah, doing good. good, and you? I'm so excited that you got a, you have, you got a black and white photo. <laughs> yeah, we are blended. <laughs> so imagine it's midnight. Uh, uh. <laughs> And who would be black? <laughs> <laughs> huh? So when you are human beings and you come together for a purpose, it makes sense. Sure. And uh, uh, we are on this platform so that you can use it to share your experiences. And just don't lie about your experiences. Just talk about the things that you are doing. It's enough. Yes. When life stories are shared, they have the power to inspire others. They have the power to provoke others. And today we have just shown that you are in South Africa and we are in Kenya. Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah, that's very true. So we have now bridged the divide. We have a project called Banking on Africa's Future. That the future starts by us creating spaces of shared experiences. 
creating spaces of visibility so that we may know without troubling how diverse Africa is, how creative we all are as individuals, and what happens when we come together to deliver a promise. So what promise are you delivering? What is your promise? Okay. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, we are really grateful that uh, together we can really bridge the divide in Africa. And the promise we collectively want to give to Africa is that uh, together we can join Africa into a common goal. And what is the common goal? The common goal for us is ensuring that we can all have dreams as Africa. And using the resource that we have in Africa, we can have solutions that change Africa by Africans. And that's why today and for the next one week, we are together different organizations from across Kenya and also across Africa. Because for the next three days, we are on a coaching course. And the coaching course is trying to see how do we ensure that we create young people who not only think about themselves, but who also think about others in their communities and how can they be able to bring their communities together to come up with solutions and innovations that can be able to change their stories in their communities and also change Kenya as a country and also Africa as a continent. And that's why we have all these young people around me to share the same spirit. Okay. And uh, when, uh, when we're talking about banking, on Africa's future. Uh, would you want to know what we mean by that? Yes, sure. We would want to know more. And also the young people around me would also be interested to know how can they be part of that and how can they contribute towards a better Africa. Okay. Africa does not exist, but you do. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> So when I see a bank of four, and today, how big is the bank here? We are now six. Yeah. yeah. Yes. From the six, we can see their faces. One of the six, you can't see him. You can only hear him. <laughs> <laughs> so as a bank of six, we are diverse. Some are tall, some are short. One is standing, the other. <laughs> so that is the bank of Africa's future. The future is determined by each and every one of us. What we choose to do, what we what we dream of. And after dreaming, want to convert into practice. So when we talk about a bank, we are saying a bank is people of value. That each and every one of us has got value to somebody else. Somebody may look useless to me, but there's no useless human being. Because everyone counts. So is that something you want to be part of, to just to tell your story and say, my name is so and so, and this is what I do, and I want to be on this pilot of creating 10,000 names, and we compete to build this bank of diverse people. And you find the small-minded people will bring people who are like them. So if I, if I am black, I default to being black. I won't find another person who doesn't look like me. And if I'm a Christian, I won't bring a Muslim. And if I'm a woman, I won't bring men. But you guys are already... How many women do we have now? <laughs> how many women do we have in the bank? 
One woman right now. One, 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 out, one out of six. One out of six. <laughs> so when we meet tomorrow, don't want one woman. Do you want to be lonely? No. <laughs> so we are all going to find each one of us a woman to say, come and let's build the bank of 10,000 borderless Africans, colorblind Africans. Do you want to be part of this building exercise? Then see how far it goes. Yeah. Find boys who find boys. Girls who find girls. You go to a party, you see girls talking to girls. Boys talking to boys. So we want to break this divide. So you have already, you are now our example. We have one man with glasses like me, so that makes two of us. <laughs> Where you see, we can see. But it doesn't make us less human. So is that the so we want to tell the story by doing. When we say a bank of ten thousand, we want us to grow so that Anthony, when we end this journey, we are going to have Anthony's list. Yeah. But at least it will be each one of us adding the list. When we arrive at the ten thousand mark, we want to see how diverse we are. Do you want to be part of this experiment of building nations? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, they do. They, they, they want to be part of the 10,000 young people changing Africa. So, yes, they yeah. want to part from Africa. Anthony, don't change Africa. Africa has no stomach. It doesn't eat anything. <laughs> <laughs> change yourself. Because you can control what you say, what you do. Yeah. But that does not have those properties. So from now onwards, when we talk about Africa, who are we talking about? Ourselves. Us. About me. Not ourselves. I'm talking about myself. Yeah. Mm. Because I can go to Australia. What do I become? Imagine Anton goes to Australia. What does he become? <laughs> guys imagining that. Him. <laughs> what do you become, Anthony, when you go to Australia? Uh, when I go to Australia, I'm still Anthony. So, you are not even Anthony. You are yourself. Wherever yeah. you are. You can even change your name. Yeah. <laughs> But you can't fool yourself. You still be you. Yourself, yeah, sure. In Africa, you can't be smart in Australia. If you don't like meat in Africa, you can't like meat in Australia just because I've changed the geography. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. So the stupidity that I have remains with me. So we are not here to change Africa, we are here to change ourselves, myself first. To say, I am now part of this 10,000 project. And when I put people in the list, what do I call that? Can you be... Yeah? He lost me, so we didn't hear your question. When I add people into the bank, uh -huh. what do I call that exercise? The exercise would be uh, bringing uh, changed individuals into a bank of uh, change makers. So it will start with the uh, 
bringing a common, it's actually a common goal. Okay, that's Anthony. And uh, let's get uh, uh, the next one. Identify yourself because I'm not good at, at names. Because I think all Africans have the same name. <laughs> To bring 10,000 people together. Janet. No, I'm saying if, if you add one yeah. and financially literate, what do you say that addition is in banking terms? She's in what terms? In banking terms, I what do you if you all don't know, just say, I don't know. I don't. Yeah, no, yeah, invest. okay. Investment, no? Investment. No, no, that's not investing. No, not investment. Mm -hmm. So let me go to uh, uh, each one of you identified. I, I know now Janet. Who is the next one? Uh, the next one is Zach. And uh, when I bring one person into the, uh, yes. What yes, do I that. call that? Um, I'll call it saving. If you don't know, Anthony, don't, don't, don't struggle. <laughs> Just say I don't know, I want to know. No, I think I'll call it saving. It's not saving. Yeah. You can't save another human being. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next person. Hi. I'm, I'm Hi. Julian. I'm, to be honest, Julian. I'm, I'm, I'm here to learn. Um, <laughs> I don't feel like I could speak for African people at all. Um, so maybe later I can contribute, but I think um, this is something where I, where I observe primarily. All right. Uh, are you not African yourself? No, I'm German. What makes you German? <laughs> that's, that's an interesting question. So I was, I was born, born uh, but... So I, I if it's your dog is born in Germany, what do you call it? Sorry, come again. A dog is born in Germany, what do you call it? A dog? Yeah. It's a dog. Yeah. yeah, so by that logic, I'm a human being. All right. Okay. But we are talking to human beings. No, you, 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 are, no, you are already in Africa, aren't you? Yes. How would I know you're German by looking at you? You wouldn't. So why do you want to distinguish yourself as different? It's it's my second time on the continent. It's my first time in Kenya, so I don't feel I should speak no. for any... If you're a soldier, if you're a soldier, Julian, and there are people to be killed, would you would you stop killing because you have to go back where you're born? I'm, I'm, I didn't get that question. The audio was bad. Sorry. No. If you are a soldier, and your job is to kill people, would you say I can't kill you because I just arrived? <laughs> I, I would never become a soldier in the first <laughs> Never. <laughs> so Julian now is <laughs> life, Julian, wherever you are is warm. If you are in Africa for one second, you're already part of us. Okay. And if it's raining, it won't rain only on, on the Africans that you think are there. It will rain on all of us. If there's an earthquake, it will affect all of us. Yeah, yeah. True. If somebody throws a grenade at you, the four of you, you can't say that I will be spared because I'm German. 
No, I didn't say that at all. No, no. <laughs> no, we are just doing this to help other people know that uh, we are human beings and we are universal. Wherever I go, I remain who I am. So coming back to the question, when you, when you, when you add one person to the bank, it's called a deposit. Yeah. Yeah. And when you, when you remove somebody because of death or immigration, what do you call that? Withdrawal. Withdrawal. Yeah. And we start with an opening balance today. Tinashe is an accountant. What is the opening balance on this bank of Anton Kite? We call it Anton Kite's bank. On so when uh, I opened today, I opened with uh, 623. Uh, and I've deposited Woniswa, uh, uh, which makes it 624. So if I deposit uh, Anthony, uh, that makes it 625. If I deposit Janet, 626. If I deposit Julian, 627. And if I deposit uh, Zach, that's 628. So now we are 628 on the journey towards what? 10,000. 10,000, yeah. Yeah. So, Julian, for now you are an African. When you go to Germany, you become a German. Oh, okay. <laughs> saying that. I like the idea. So, yeah, so you can also aid Germans. And uh, don't limit yourself to the people you think are African. Are you married? Me? No. Yeah, you, are you married? So we can arrange a, a marriage for you so that you don't have to go back. <laughs> so that you remain here. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure my girlfriend would approve of that. <laughs> So in this way is and just uh, start working with us. Don't you think it's good to have somebody who pretends to be German with us? <laughs> Janet, don't you think it's good for us? Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. It is really good for us <laughs> to keep it to keep depositing. We need to deposit more of so we, them. <laughs> Yeah, so that white people who come to Africa can can also start thinking like Africans. Yeah. <laughs> so, any question on the banking on Africa's future? I think uh, for 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 us or uh, for me, I'm, I'm I'm really looking forward to increasing the bank and depositing more people who think that. Uh, the level of bridging Africa divide and bringing people together to think on uh, how we can be able to change each other as, a, as individuals and also in the process, continue to make Africa a better continent. No, yeah, I think, uh, thank you, Anthony, that's the spirit. Let's not yeah. please screen people. Anthony, yeah. just bring your friends so that even don't like even enemies too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we, we want anyone must count. Yeah. And when we build own communities, let's not us let's not exclude others. Mm. Let's not say this one is not one of us because he's a visitor. Yeah. So let's be inclusive. Yeah. And you lose nothing by benefiting from other people's experiences. So do you want to see who I look like? Yes. Yeah, 
would want to put a face to the voice definitely <laughs> 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 Yeah, we can see you. That's part of the banking on Africa's future. That yeah. even see me. If I can't see you, because I am I'm not gifted with sight. Even when I, when I can't speak, I'm still human being. Yes. Yeah. So you don't have to see me for you to know that I'm a human being. Have you ever seen a lion talking like me? <laughs> no. Not so far. Not so far. Have you ever seen an animal becoming a human being? No, not really. Not really. Not really. So we, beca- we belong to the human being. Yes. So we don't belong to the white bank, black bank. Indian, colored bear. we all belong to the human race. So that's the project that the radio station is promoting. Yes. That wherever you are, you can still associate with others. Where you come from doesn't matter. So thank you, and unless you have questions, tomorrow when we come back, what is Anton's challenge? What is your challenge? Yeah, uh, before I say my challenge, I think uh, Janet would uh, want to go first and say what she has to say on the challenge. The challenge. Uh, okay. the challenge yeah, so one of the challenges is uh, bringing women on board and um, getting women who are confident to talk about issues affecting them and to advocate for, for gender equality. Okay, do you want us to be equal, uh, Janet, seriously? <laughs> huh? We are equal even if you're not the same. Yeah, so we are, we are created equal. That's the end of the story. But we don't have to be equal because if I work hard, do you want to be equal to the person who is not working hard? Yeah. Would you want someone to harvest the fruits of your labor? Equality, that's it. No? Imagine it at this time. This woman comes and says, ah, can I get two tons of maize? Because I'm a woman, mm-hmm. would you not take it and say, my friend, let's settle this outside the harvest? <laughs> so, Janet, what is your challenge for tomorrow? Janet, what's your challenge for tomorrow? I've talked about my challenge. <laughs> So her challenge is more in line to ensuring that we, we deposit more, more women more on the women. bank. Yeah. And then yeah, so that so what is your challenge? Five or two or three? What's your challenge yeah. for Zach? What's your challenge? Are you talking in terms of numbers when you talk about two or three or number or uh yeah, it's a challenge of numbers? Sorry? Oh challenge the challenge like how many do you want to bring? Yeah, oh. that's what I'm talking about. In, in that, um, 10. Yeah, I would bring uh, 15. Okay, Anthony says 15. Uh, Janet, you said 10. That, that is, uh, that Julian, is, how many? That is Zach. That is Zach, 15. Oh, yes, Zach 10. said 15. Yes. He yes. said 10, right? Janet. Janet said 10. And Julian, how many? I'll be, I'll be, um, I'll be simple. <laughs> I'll start with one and then see how it goes. <laughs> uh, and Anthony, uh, tomorrow was your challenge. Today you have deposited three, and tomorrow yeah, how many yeah, will you I'll deposit? deposit three. And uh, <laughs> tomorrow I want to still uh, increase the number by three, so I'll uh, have three more people coming <laughs> to share more on what they are doing and also 
bank can deposit more onto Africa as a bank of uh, young people who would really change the African divide. So, yeah, so Anthony, the trick is that the people don't have to be with you. Yes. The smartphone, they don't have to be smart. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And then you give the list today to Tinashe. Yes. So that those people can be part of this community. And we want to know how diverse we are. And we must agree on the time that we are going to have this community meeting. Yes. So what time, Tinashe, are we going to have Anthony? Andon's challenge. We call it Andon's challenge because you are the godfather of this group now. <laughs> <laughs> so Tinashe, what uh, time will be perfect for it, this it, conversation? It's, it's uh, uh, half past eight Central African time and uh, Kenya is uh, uh, one hour ahead, so that's half past nine Kenyan time. It's uh, half past ten. Uh, right, right now it's what. Uh, 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 right, uh, it's right now, what, what time is it in Kenya? It's actually it's ten, ten, ten or nine. So it's uh, ten minutes past ten. So it's two hours 10 past ahead. Ten. Yeah, so it must be uh, two hours ahead. So at half past nine, your time. That's when uh, we connect. Uh, okay. Uh, on uh, on my side, it will be half past eight. Okay, that would be perfect. So we advertise today. It's now called. Anthony's challenge. Yes. <laughs> in the in Janet's challenge. Mm -hmm. Julian's challenge. And each one of us must challenge ourselves to be diverse, inclusive. Even enemies, don't exclude them. Mm. Don't exclude or don't exclude people who don't live in in uh, in Kenya or in Africa, because we are saying Africa belongs to all who live in it, but those who live in it have no monopoly over Africa. Because like Julian, I can visit Africa and become African, and it takes a few hours to be African. <laughs> <laughs> who who am I to exclude Julian? As long as he's a human being, you may find he's got skills that we don't have. Yeah, sure. You may find that he has got perspectives that we don't have. You may find that the German way of doing things is what is missing in Africa. You have to say something about that. <laughs> <laughs> feels like he wants to say something about that. Yes, you can go ahead. So why can't we use Julian to bridge Africa to Germany? The only, not Germany, the, food, the, the country, but the only what Julian knows of Germany. Because he doesn't know anything called Germany. He knows the place he grew up, the schools he went to, and he doesn't know all Germans. Yeah. He just knows a few, like Anthony. So our yeah. challenge to each and every one of us to say I'm part of building this bank of hope. You know why we call it a bank of hope? What? No. Hope, 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 hope. hope. Yeah. You know why we call it a bank of hope? No. You know why they call it a bank of hope? No. I don't. Zach? <laughs> um, not really. Jared? Not really. You can share with us and the people listening. Yeah. Just imagine human civilization without hope. Oh. <laughs> can you imagine that? <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound very productive. <laughs> so we can create the Africa we want. Yeah. And nobody will do that. I don't have to know the whole of Africa. I don't have to speak on the on behalf of Africa. What I need to speak on behalf of is what I know.
So is that uh, is that okay? Is it start? So until we meet tomorrow, let us invest in hope. Yeah, I think uh, investing in hope is the best way to go, and that's the same reason why Julian, Janet, and Zach are here, so that they can invest more in themselves as as young leaders and also invest also in and believe more in the young people who are here because we are more than 40 young people gathered together for a one week long uh, workshop focusing on how do we build ourselves as change makers within our own lives and also within the lives of other individuals who are not part of this conversation and that is why janet is doing the same in kilifi and zach is doing the same in nairobi the capital city and we are doing that in Kitale, the northern side of Kenya. And then uh, Julian is also doing the same here in Kenya and also globally in uh, Germany and across the globe. And we are all together the Africa divide. So let's, uh, let's work from there. Yeah, sure. So we start with the bank of 40. Then yes. we, we already have a bank of 40 where you are. Yes. So let's expand it so that uh, those in Mombasa, yes. those places of Kenya, they can be part of this conversation like we are in Kenya today. Yes, yes. and we are in South Africa today. We are in South Africa today. Yes. Well, on that note, uh, it's been a very wonderful uh, conversation. Uh, thanks uh, to Julian, thanks to Janet, thanks to Zach, and thanks to you, Anthony, uh, for showing up and just adding your voice, uh, sharing, uh, tell, uh, sh just uh, telling your story. And yes, here you are in South Africa today, and here I am in Kenya this morning. And if there's anyone out there who still doubts that uh, through the 1873 FM platform, and individuals like yourself and myself, um, all things are possible and still wonders uh, if um, the future we want can be secured. Then uh, those questions can be answered on this platform by us just sharing our story as we are doing and definitely looking forward to uh, deepening and broadening this conversation at uh, tomorrow, 8.30 Central African time and 9.30 Kenyan time. And yes, um, may you all have a lovely day ahead. Thank you. Also, have a day. We are from Maria Mo into the pitch, so we are off to go and play football and learn from football. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Moere. You also have a lovely day for them. Yeah. Okay, and to the viewers, to the listeners, uh, thank you for making the 1873 FM your channel of choice. Uh, stay tuned for more insightful, more informative uh, conversations uh, following through on the 1873 FM. Uh, the 1873 FM, your voice, your power, your voice on issues that matter, your power to inspire new thinking, new outcomes, and new possibilities. Uh, mm -hmm. Nation Pass City being the name and